Ludwig von Bertalanffy was an Austrian-born biologist that is known for his creation of general system theory, which for practical reasons I will call in this video only as system theory. Why have I decided to make video about Bertalanffy's system theory? I want to show that some things that he came up with are of enormous importance for understanding my own theories and also for understanding basic principles of universe. What Bertalanffy basically did when he created system theory is that he postulated that any section of universe around us that we perceive can be described as a system. Bertalanffy has not created the term system himself, but used it as general name for describing things independently of any particular scientific field. Please note that Bertalanffy did not create his system theory to understand universe. He just wanted to remove differences among scientists working in different scientific fields. So what I am presenting here from Bertalanffy's system theory is just compilation of his work. I have used only things that I consider relevant for my purposes. When you look on this first figure, you will see one big blue circle and several small circles inside this big blue circle. This is a diagram that shows how Bertalanffy's description of universe around us is working. The big blue circle is called system, and as such it may represent anything in our world. It may be a representation of human body, representation of one living cell, representation of electronic radio, representation of steam engine, representation of planet Earth, representation of atom or molecule, etc. It can be representation of anything in this universe, and it is always just a section of universe. The small colorful circles inside the big blue circle are called subsystems, and are part of the system that is represented by big blue circle. Bertalanffy's system theory postulates that any section of the universe can be called as a system and that system is being represented by its subsystems. Subsystems make up for a structure of a system. So for example, structure of human body as a system is specified by particular human organs as subsystems. Structure of a computer is specified by its memory modules, processor, buses, etc. These parts are all subsystems of a system called computer. Subsystems also interact with each other, which is being used to explain function of a system. For example, in a computer, the processor interacts with memory, and some of these interactions may be described as a function of a computer. So you see that interaction of subsystems can be used to generally describe function of any system in this world. On figure 1, the interaction among subsystems is shown by black arrows. Subsystems may also have interactions with other systems than this blue circle system on figure 1. Such interaction is shown by one arrow on left pointing outside blue circle towards system of higher order. Now the interesting thing about system theory is that when you look on any particular subsystem closer, you will see that this subsystem is not finite element, but rather represents another system. Take a look for example on subsystem that is drawn on figure 1 in red color. On the next figure number 2, the big red circle is the small red circle from previous figure 1. You can see that inside this big red circle there are again smaller colorful circles that represent subsystems inside this red system. So for example, if on previous figure 1 the big blue circle represented a computer, this big red circle on this figure number 2 represents processor inside computer and subsystems on this figure represent, let's say, transistors and wires inside this processor that any processor is composed of. Again, on this figure you can see black arrows that represent interactions among subsystems which make up for a function of this system. 
and we could go farther down and look closer on any of those subsystems to see that again they are composed of another subsystems and so on. Also, we could go upwards and make any system to a subsystem and look on a system of higher level. And this in short explains what Bartalanffy system theory is all about describing all things around us by means of systems, subsystems and interaction among them. What was the goal of Ludwig van Bertalanffy when he created system theory? Bertalanffy was a biologist and he tried to look on living organisms as systems that would enable him to make analogies to another scientific disciplines. He tried to pave ways to better understanding among scientists of different scientific disciplines, like for example between biology and physics. Please note that Ludwig von Bertalanffy did not describe universe by his system theory. He developed system theory because he was a biologist and was studying living cells in human body. Human body is a perfect example of how we can study complex systems and make implications for another scientific disciplines. This is why Ludwig von Bertalanffy came up with his general system theory. And what is the importance of Bertalanffy's system theory for today? I believe that even today scientists are vastly overseeing true importance of Bertalanffy's work. I also believe that even Bertalanffy himself did not know the exact importance of what he really created with his system theory. He just used his system theory as a tool for communication among different scientific fields, but the real importance of his work is as follow. Bertalanffy created a model of universe that describes all universe around us in a hierarchical way that before Bertalanffy was something science have totally ignored. Even today, physicists trying to describe universe are ignoring hierarchical structure of universe, which is a big mistake. So what should you remember from this video? Remember that universe around us scribe in a hierarchical way by systems, subsystems and interactions among them. I will use Ludwig von Bertalanffy's general system theory frequently in my next videos. You will see that hierarchical description of universe is one of the most important scientific tools leading directly to understanding of basic principles of universe, which you may know as theory of everything. Yes, I will try to explain to you how matter and universe are working because it is in direct relationship with information processing in human brain, which I have deciphered and understand the most in this world. So subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for very exciting scientific stuff to come.